when we think about the various elements of the tragedy of the entire mission of Karbala, there are so many elements and pillars to why it was such a tragic event. Denial of food and water, the differences in the size of the armies, the way the shohada were killed. And one dimension is the fact that those individuals that are exempt from war usually were asked to go through so much during this mission. Namely, elders, women, and children. Ruqayya bint Hussain. that some cultures refer to as Sakina, the three-and-a-half, three four-year-old daughter of Imam Hussein, who is buried right now in the prison of Sham, is a story that comes to mind when we think about this specific pillar of tragedy. Her closeness, her attachment to her father is well known. History does not shy away from you know, mentioning how close these two were. And after all, you know, there's something about a father and a daughter and that connection. And those of us who have daughters, we can attest to this idea. That yes, you know, while sons are close as well, there's something about a daughter and what she does to a father's heart and vice versa. That we see now on the plains of Karbala between Ruqayya and her father, Imam Hussein. Ample stories are there. But this loving, loving daughter of Imam Hussein, the history says sometimes would be restless at night growing up and would find serenity and calmness with the warmth of the chest of her father, Imam Hussein. Meaning what? That sometimes she wouldn't sleep until she felt the warmth, until she laid her head on that muqaddas and pure chest of Imam Hussein. The day of Ashura captures this connection very beautifully, very tragically as well. How she was able now to send her father off knowing full well that from morning until now, whoever has gone has not come back. She knew full well that I will not see my father again after this, night, after this day. Her patience, her strength, her reliance on God at the tender age of four is incredible for all of us. Not just for our young kids, for, for all of us, such a lesson to emulate. And then, of course, the way that she tragically left this world, clutching the head of her father, crying, seeing a dream that same night, the Sheikh Abbas Qumi and Nafas al-Mahmoum narrates, seeing a dream where she's conversing with her father, they're crying over their absence. Her crying now increases in volume. And very poetically, history says the walls of the prison of Sham began to cry with the tears, the innocent tears of this four-year-old Ruqayya. When she's brought the head of her father, looking at this scarred, beheaded head of her father, it's so difficult for us to imagine what went through her mind and her heart. But the one thing that brings me a little bit of solace and perhaps a silver lining is that she is that lone reminder in Syria and Sham of the oppression and the sacrifice that the family of Imam Hussein went through that she's a reminder that her father now stood up for justice, to fight for what's right, to rescue humanity from the clutches of tyranny. With her grave being there and with millions of people going to send their salams and their salutations to her on an annual basis, 
in the very in the very middle of the courtyard of the man responsible for this heinous crime on the day of Ashura perhaps is a sign of the victory of Imam Hussein. I don't know. But what I do know is this connection between a, a, a father and a daughter is well documented. Her sacrifice, how she was able to travel and move to, 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 to Kufa and then to Sham, spend time in that prison was still carrying the trauma of the death of her father, that strength can only belong to the family of the Holy Prophet. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give our young individuals this, this strength, this courage, this reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to understand that there is beauty in the fact that this Ruqayya bint Hussein, the daughter of the beloved Imam Hussein, her grave lies there in the middle of that courtyard in Sham in Syria today as a reminder of the victory of her father Imam Hussein. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.